I was sent a package unlike anything I've ever received before, so time to drag it into the garage, unbox it, and give it a review. The Sultan M66X comes very well packaged and the first thing I wanted to do was get everything unboxed and then plug the battery in and get that charging while I assemble the rest of the bicycle. And this is how it comes out of the box, fully unpackaged. You can see it's mostly together. There's really not much assembly required here. What is required is pretty easy. There's not a ton I need to install on this. It looks pretty straightforward. I have a front tire, I've got pedals, I've got a battery, a couple lights, handlebars. This isn't gonna take long at all. It really comes mostly assembled. First up is getting the handlebars installed, which is as easy as four simple little bolts. Then I wanted to move on to the pedals, which just screw in, and then you simply cinch them down with a wrench. Next up was the front fender, which also holds the headlight and the horn. After all that's installed, you can finally put the front wheel on. Getting the front wheel on is easy as well. It's just a bolt that slides through the entire hub assembly there. Make sure to cinch that down nice and tight. You certainly don't want that coming off. And then next, I wanted to address the handlebars because I didn't have them positioned exactly where I wanted them. You can't really get them in a good position until you've got the front wheel on and you can sit on the bike and figure out your position and get them in a comfortable manner because you don't want to be uncomfortable riding this bike around, that's for sure. So a little bit of fiddling, a little bit of adjusting of the handlebars, which is relatively really easy. You have two different adjustment points. Once that was good to go, there was nothing else to do but hook up a couple of connections near the front fender and then ride the thing. Just one thing left to do. This was very easy to put together. Anyone could do this and they supply all the tools needed, put it together. I just have a full tool chest of tools with electric impacts and stuff to make it a little faster, so that's why I chose to use those. Now, it's just time to wait for the battery to charge and I can take this thing on its first drive. It's a nice looking bike. All right, let's power this thing up. There it is, gauge cluster coming on. Well, enough dilly-dallying. I wanna go ride this thing. You 
know how to ride a bicycle. You gotta flip the kickstand up. How do you? Brake. Brake. Throttle. So I can just start spinning? Yeah, you can just start. There like, you go. Just Give like it a whirl. This? Yeah. I'm scared. All right, now, yeah, do some off-roading. I'm doing better. How fast did you go? I wasn't paying attention. Good job. Um, it was good, it was smooth. Wow. Was it easy to ride? Yeah. It was smooth. Especially for your first time on an e-bike. Yeah. I would say 10 and a half out of 10. How were the brakes? Really smooth. And nice. Easy. Not too harsh. Overall, just a smooth ride. Yeah. It has the shocks. All around. Nice brace, nice shocks. Outstanding. Good job. Good job. It works well off-road, too. Now some other neat features that you don't see on many e-bikes, it actually has a working brake light and obvious headlight, but in addition it has turn signals. It's got a right turn signal with an indicator on the screen. It's got the same obviously for the left turn signal with a matching indicator on the screen. It's got a built-in horn and then it also has the little bell you can ring. So some pretty neat features on this bike. Hey, can you make sure this is adjusted right? So it sees like when I'm riding on the on the th on the bike. Like I want it to see sort of part of the handlebars. See me right now. So down. Can you see my finger? You can see my finger. Swell. Outstanding. This thing definitely has some torque. It's able to go up hills all by itself without issue. And downhill, I got this thing to almost 30 miles an hour. And it wasn't that steep of a hill either. So this thing can carry around wherever you, you need to go without issue. This thing's pretty sweet. On road and off road. Big thanks to ADD or Ad Motor for this incredible electric e-bike. It's a really cool thing. I know this isn't something I normally do on the channel, but it's motor related. And it's really fun to ride. It's great on-road, great off-road. Has all the features that you'd want. It's got a screen, turn signals horn. It's awesome. So I'll have a link below to check this thing out. Be sure to do so. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you in another video.